Hello, everybody. There's something going on outside. <clears throat> um, but I thought I would do a quick little video here um, about uh, like what I'm reading this weekend and some new chapbooks. So let's do the what I'm reading. If you remember in the um, book haul from San Francisco, I did, I got this um, Terminal Punk, Punk Philosophy by V. Vale. Um, now, if you are interested in any of the stuff that he's done, if you go to, is it just, oh, researchpubs.com, um, and the site's actually really kind of cool. I was digging through it the other day. Um, but this is um, basically, like it says here, based on, and he has like phone conversations, punk at the library panel, San Francisco, zine workshop, and um, an interview at CalArts LA. So this is kind of like essays, kind of, um, I don't know if there's actually interviews. Oh, yep, interview right here. Um, but yeah, so Search and Destroy, that was his um, zine from back in the day. And there's a big part of J.G. Ballard in here, too. So um, I'm really looking forward to this. It's pretty dense for like a zine slash, slash um, chat book kind of deal. But um, it's pretty awesome. Like I, I'm really excited to get into this. So I'm going to be reading that this weekend. Um, and then as far as <clears throat> um, my chat books go, um, I ran out of materials. So um, I missed a month. Um, on my chat books, but I already made them, so, or in the computer. So I have two here. Um, I can write racetrack poems too, fucker. And um, this is a painting of a horse that I did. That guy's mad. He's standing on the corner screaming at people. And this other guy's just trying to walk by him. And he's like, nope, I'm going to yell at you. Um, so anyway, so yeah, these are just um, poems about horse racing and betting on horses. And this one, there is only seven copies um, of. So this is like my smallest run book. And I did that because I honestly don't think anyone's going to give two shits about this. But um, it was fun. So... Um, there's seven copies of this one. And then this one is called Red Book. Um, not to be confused with Red Book, the one word title. This is obviously two words. And as you can see, it's red. And this one has 11 copies made of it. And um, all the poems in here are poems about something red. So there's um, red dress, red chucks, red hoodie, red screwdriver, and red pants um, in here. So those are up on my Etsy shop. Down below is the um, description, and the description is a link to all that. Um, I got hit up by someone saying that um, for some reason Etsy wasn't letting them buy um, the books sorry about that sorry about the shake and so i tried it and sure enough i couldn't buy my books either but then i had somebody else go in and try to get it and it seemed to work so um if you if you have had any problems um in etsy trying to get that to work um drop me a line and let me know because um i really uh, I'm not a fan of that if that's not working. So if there are better places to be than Etsy to sell homemade wares, um, please let me know. Oh yeah, and both of these um, have the newsprint interiors. Um, so yeah, 
Um, it's kind of nice. I like it. Um, and then also I um, have recorded another video of the Great Unhaul. And um, I have also have a video of me cleaning books for said Unhaul. Um, and those will be going up shortly, I guess, um, within the next few days. Um, but I'm trying to, I don't want to put videos out saying, oh, and these books are on my eBay shop if I don't have them up on my eBay shop yet. So, um, maybe I'll like, I'm slowly putting them up, but it's a lot easier for me to do an unhaul video and go look at all these books than it is for me to actually list all of these books. So, um, and then let me ask you this. I've bought books off of eBay before, um, but I've also bought books off of Instagram. Um, have you ever bought books off of Instagram? Do you like that experience? Is this something that I should be doing on Instagram too? Like, what do you think? What What is your professional opinion as a viewer or subscriber to this channel? Um, that would be interesting to know. Oh, he's still mad and now he's yelling at somebody else. Um, but anyway... So, um, oh, and then June 7th, I think, is the release date for Dead Dame Curse. Um, it's still available for pre-order right now. Um, you could save a couple bucks if you pre-order it. Link for that is also down in the description below. And um, other than that, I think, I think that's it. I think we're solid. I have uh, an enormous amount of dishes to do. Um, because cooking is a thing and that's been happening. So, um, I'm going to go do that. Um, let me know if you're reading anything interesting this weekend, anything that you think, um, I would find interesting. Um, yeah. And other than that, um, I guess I hope you guys are all doing okay and keeping safe because I don't know, like, this is just now I'm just talking to you guys now. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to just do a little bit of a chat here, okay? Um, I know everyone is fucking bored to death of talking about COVID. Oh, sorry. I leaned on the table again. I understand that. It's a fucking boring fucking thing to talk about. Um, it has eaten up the majority of our lives. But um, more so now than... Um, especially since I've been here... Um, there are a lot of people getting COVID right now for some reason. And, um, maybe it's like the lackadaisical thing with the mask. Now everyone's kind of cutting stuff off and all this other shit. Um, but a lot of people I know have COVID now and in my building, um, there's been a bit of a COVID outbreak. So, because of that, I have turned into um, a freaking masked person, and um, I am masking every time I go out the door. Um, there's been a couple times where um, I forgot my mask, and you know what's funny? Um, oh, shit, is he going to hit that car? <sighs> Dude, people are fucking crazy right now. But anyway, it's just, it's really weird. Like, I... Um, I want to say maybe it's just in this area that this is happening, but I've been talking to some of my friends out of state and either they have COVID or people they know have COVID. <clears throat> so it's just, it's a, it's a weird thing. I kind of thought um, for the most part we were past all this and apparently that's not how it is. So that is kind of um, troubling. Um, the other thing is, is that for the most part, um, I have pulled almost everything out of my storage unit. So, um, in my little place right here now, I have boxes and bags and, um, just stacks of books. Um, my, the, the bookcase I have in the kitchen is like, um, two rows deep 
laying flat up and down up and down so um my place actually looks like a weird little bookstore in some downtown little shop so um that's kind of cool like i'm digging it a bit but um i'm kind of going through some of the stuff that i don't want and um what is kind of shocking to me is like kind of what I'm getting rid of and also how many duplicates of things I have. Um, I was not aware of how many um, multiple, and I mean, and I don't just mean multiples of like a book. Cause like, yeah, I have like, 10 or 15 different um, copies of Frankenstein and a bunch of different copies of Dracula and Jekyll and Hyde and the Invisible Man. Um, there's actually a ton of stuff like that. But there's actually tons of like old paperbacks that um, I had picked up at different times from different shops over the years and they're the exact same one. And so now I'm like kind of looking at them going, oh, this one's got a better spine, but this one's cover looks a li little neater. And um, so that's kind of um, kind of eaten up a little bit of my what am I doing time. So, um, so yeah, so that's a thing. But... Um, <sighs> My ADD is fucking kicking in so bad right now. So, um, since we were talking about COVID, obviously, right now, um, are you guys having any, like, r like resurgences or anything like that? Like, I, I just was not expecting that. Um, and when you buy books, do you make sure before you buy a book at a bookstore, let's say, that you already have that book or don't have that book or like how often is this um because i think what my problem is is in my head i'll get a book so i look at the cover and i'm like looking at it, i'm like oh, okay i have this book now and then i go to this when i'm just going to bookstores and stuff i'll see a book that i already have but because I recognize the cover so well, I'm like, oh, dude, I've probably been wanting this forever. And, um, like, did I just look up this online? Because I look up books online all the time and, like, look at different editions and stuff like that. So, um, oh, and then, dude, I have a list in my phone of, like, different, like, Tarzan and um, Conan and all these book series that I'm collecting and like all just all the burrow stuff like right off the bat but like i'll have on the list like <clears throat> which ones i have and which ones i need and i don't know what is wrong with me but my list taking abilities are absolute garbage so i'll be looking at that list on my phone and have no fucking idea like what this is talking about. And I had to actually go back into it because I just put like, it's lit. Like it says book list and it goes down this thing. And I'm like, so are these books I have or are these books that I need? Like that's fucking confusing. So when I figured that out, I did that. But then between the different versions of the things, because like, again, I have, what, like four different paperback runs of Tarzan that I'm trying to like piece together. And, um, I don't know. So long story short, um, my list of trying to make my life easier has absolutely made it fucking harder. So there's that. Um, so maybe I'll do that today. Maybe I'll fix up that list to make it to where um, I'm not completely fucking myself. That was a bit loud. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is, is that, like, my Bukowski um, books, I want to really kind of hone in on that because 
as you know. Um, there were, I have a lot of the Echo editions, but I um, also have, honestly, more than I thought I would have when I went through it. I have a pretty good amount of the Black Sparrow Press editions. And I want a full Black Sparrow Press run. Um, at least from, I mean, shit, if I could get Terror Street, like, that would be a, a whole other fucking thing. But I was going to say from, like, um, the Days Run Away, um, like, Wild Horses Over the Hills or whatever. Um, or is it just Horses Over the Hills? I don't remember. From that to Pulp. And um, I do have quite a few of those in that um, realm. So um, that would be kind of cool. So I have to put that list together so I can figure that out. Um, and then some of the Black Sparrow Press books I have. And what pisses me off about this, seriously, is the Black Sparrow book I have of the Rooming House Madrigals. That is probably the shittiest copy of any of the Bukowski books that I have. Um, at least the Black Sparrow Press editions. And um, that was the most expensive. I think I paid like... Um, I can't fucking remember. But it was like around like... In between like 17 and 25. I can't remember. Might have been 25 and I talked him down to 17 or something like that. But that was it. Some like used bookstore thing. And it is in fucking terrible shape. It's readable. But um, out of all of them, that one is just... Uh, I kind of feel like I got a bit robbed on that one. I don't know. So maybe we'll we'll do a thing about that sometime. But yeah, so um, this video went um, a lot longer, but I miss talking to you guys. Um, so I, I think I just want to spend more time shooting the shit with y'all. Oh, here's another thing I realized. For those of you who were bitching about... Um, the ads on my videos. Um, I finally figured out that if I go in when I'm put, putting a video up and I go in and I scroll down, um, cause normally I don't scroll down. I'm just annoyed that I have to click a bunch of fucking buttons to put a video up cause I'm very impatient. I scroll down and there is a, um, a mid roll video button and um, I don't know if anyone has noticed this at all, but um, I clicked that off on um, the last few videos I put up. And hopefully I remember to do it on this one. But um, yeah, so I, I do know that's a thing now. And um, so um, hopefully that eases some of the um, like, ugh about my videos because um not that like the money i make on youtube is like anything to fucking write home about but um it is nice to get a little something that i could put towards either my phone bill paying for my internet to post these videos and stuff like that so whatever so that's that so i guess that was a pretty good um update yeah, maybe I should call this video something else. Hmm, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll see how that goes. So until next time, everybody, um, take care of yourselves and maybe each other. So I will see you guys later.